So after a month of use, is it actually worth it? Let's find out. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hey, my name is Mo. I'm a pharmacist, toxicologist, and safety assessor. In this channel, we talk about skincare and the science behind it. We have a very moderate view on skincare. We don't have big yes or no. So if this is something that you find interesting, please don't forget to subscribe and join our little family. So I found this little and very hidden study that state i will put the picture here you can read it if you subscribe to my channel it's a proven science so it's from pubmed so it's actually true not really and um if you subscribe to my channel you will uh, have smaller pores and if you share the link for my channel you will have less blackheads so it's very very exciting study and you can enjoy it by yourself and see an amazing results by the way it's a joke i have to say it for legal reasons so let's start this video by uh, giving a very quick introduction about this what are we going to discuss is that dark circle and under eye puffiness it's something that we all deal with it's something that it is natural to happen because of uh, our modern lifestyle uh, it's something that we mostly or uh, all of us not a fan of so um, i tried the ordinary caffeine solution ecgc uh, serum and i have some uh, thoughts to talk about it i tried it for 30 days one month i took picture every 10 every 10 days so on day zero day 10 day 20 and day 30 to see if there is any different uh, in, or improvement to be honest and i tried to make the picture as similar as possible i used artificial light by using ring light i used the uh, manual cam uh, uh, camera setting so i uh, decided the iso the shutter speed and the white balance to make sure everything is comparable as possible to see if there is any improvement of course there will be a little bit difference of light or or um, uh, color temperature but i tried my best So let's start with the first section of the video, the scientific analysis of the ingredients in the serum. First of all, we have, of course, caffeine. It's the uh, main ingredients that the company is dependent on to solve our under eye problem. And there is a lot of studies showing that caffeine is actually able to penetrate the skin. Caffeine is able to have some kind of antioxidant effect. It's a very potent antioxidant, anti-inflammatory. It has also vascular uh, constructing ability. It will construct the vascular and reduce the, uh, the appearance of the dark uh, hue that exists under eyes when there is the vasodilation of these arteries, capillaries, small capillaries under the eye before, because the skin under the eye is uh, more uh, or thinner, to be honest, than the rest of the face. And the caffeine is shown to be, uh, like I said, a very potent anti-inflammatory, so it will help to reduce the um, inflammatory response that could happen under the eyes do allergic reaction because allergic reaction can actually induce or uh, make the dark circle under our eyes more uh, prominent there is a specific study that used caffeine with vitamin k which is a fat soluble uh, vitamin in a C in an emollient to treat under eye problem and they found that it helped uh, a lot with this issue i will put the every uh, study that i'm talking about a screenshot here and the links of course in the description if you want to dig deeper in those studies but mainly there is a uh, quite a good I say evidence that caffeine can help with reducing the puffiness, reducing the appearance of dark circles. And the second ingredient is EGCG. It's an ingredient, the full name is here, I'm not trying to uh, pronounce it because English is not my first language and I don't want to sound summoning a demon or uh, casting away a spell. So this uh, product is the second main ingredient. It's used as the way to improve hydration in the skin and give like a plumping effect like hyaluronic acid 
but uh, it also has a very potent antioxidant effect it is actually somehow in, uh, uh, able to penetrate the skin so a potential benefit could happen from it and there is a study also showed that the uh, uh, the topical use of EGCG was able to reduce puffiness around the eyes and it's the like I said the second main ingredient so with the caffeine it can work synergetically to improve the puffiness around the eyes the third ingredient in the serum is gallic glucoside which is the uh, marriage of a gallic acid with a sugar molecule it is very uh, potent antioxidant it can have some kind of anti-wrinkle uh, uh, um, improve the skin appearance and uh, anti-inflammatory properties it is used also in this uh, serum to have a uh, an increased antioxidant uh, uh, act on the skin to reduce any inflammation that could happen under the skin under the eye area because the skin is very thin and it's very prone to irritation fourth ingredients is hyaluronic acid of course uh, no product uh, currently in the market does not have hyaluronic acid it's a humectant it's good at attracting water to the skin and plumping the skin uh, to reduce the appearance of fine lines so uh, I made a whole video about hyaluronic acid and if it's actually able to hold 1000 times it weights in water I will put the link here you can see it it's a very fun video and uh, it was uh, used here like I said as a humectant to help maybe plump out the skin increase the thickness of the skin even if it's only temporary to maybe minimize the appearance of dark circle okay the fifth ingredient here is oxidized glutathione uh, starting from here uh, in the formula the ingredients are more on the promising side there is not a lot of data behind it but it's something that existed in the formula won't do harm but hopefully can give a very good boosted uh, benefit to the serum so uh, oxidized glutathione we all know glutathione is the actually uh, an antioxidant very abundant in the body very uh, useful in helping body fighting off uh, free radicals but they used it in this uh, form in its uh, reduced uh, uh, form as oxidized uh, uh, glutathione so it's not actually an antioxidant but there is a, a study by a filipino university suggesting that using topically the glutathione when it's in oxidized form using as a whitening agent it's able to inhibit the synthesis of melanin and the number six on the ingredients of the active ingredients is actually melanin yes melanin the pigment the brown pigment that give our skin the color so you might be wondering why melanin actually melanin is very good at uh, protecting the cell from the UV damage it's a uh, photoprotecting agent and they found in some studies that topical application of melanin have an antioxidant anti-inflammatory and it's able to protect the cell from a uh, 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 an induced UV damage when we are exposed to the Sun so it's possibly used also for those reasons to help minimize inflammation minimize irritation under the eye and maybe possibly protect the skin under the eye from uh, a, an, a dose of UV radiation and number seven on the ingredient list and the last active ingredients is soybean seed extract it's uh, an uh, antioxidant uh, uh, extract it's it's used a lot in cosmetics especially in the eastern part of the globe where the korean japanese and chinese uh, cosmetic product use it a lot it's uh, it has a lot of antioxidant potential some uh, studies suggesting potential of anti-aging for example and increasing the collagen production and some studies even suggested that these ingredients are able to manipulate the expression of some genes in the cell uh, in similar way not uh, exactly the same but very similar to retinoic acid and it's able to induce a very um, positive benefit for the skin when it comes to hydration in a similar way to retinoic acid looking at all the evidence and the papers that i researched i would give this uh, 
product in the most scale regarding the scientific analysis four out of five beakers because like i said there is some uh, data backing the caffeine the egcg the hyaluronic acid of course these uh, but after the uh, oxidized glutathione the data starting to fall out because there is no much interest in this part but there is some hopeful good benefit from from those ingredients so that's why i give it four out of five so it's a quite uh, backed by science product but it has some also other ingredients that is not like has the strongest uh, backing by uh, data or scientific papers <laughs> So now starting with the second part is the in real life performance here i will show you the picture in a little bit but i will talk about the serum it's more of a thick serum so it's um, uh, on the closer to a gel type of serum uh, because it uses uh, maltodextrin which is uh, 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 sugar taken out from the malt and uh, you should also remember to patch test because some people are sensitive to malt so do a patch test with any product that you introduce to your skin for uh, 48 to 72 preferably hours after uh, application to notice any irritation or uh, allergic reaction so it's a thick i will put the picture of the serum here and its consistency it's uh, like i said very close to a gel it has a very brownish color the smell it has um a uh, botanical way of smell because uh, there is of course no fragrance because it's the ordinary and the little bit goes a lot like uh, i put uh, one drop under my two eyes and i put them like this and apply it by patting around my eyes it goes a lot like it slides very well and it will last you i don't even after the uh, the uh, preferred uh, post opening of the product expiration date so try to use it uh, in a way that could uh, not only under the eyes because i found a secret use for it which uh, was really surprising it has a lot of ingredients that is very anti-inflammatory antioxidant and soothing in a way i have a post-inflammatory erythema in my temples here on the side of my head uh, because of po uh, post acne marks they are red they are usually inflamed but uh, i was noticing because it goes long way i was patting it under my eyes because it's it left a lot of product i was i was like okay i will massage it uh, far away and i massage it on my temples and i was noticing that my red marks were uh, getting more soothed out so it's not as uh, inflamed not as red as it used to be so it's a useful multifunctional serum so use it under the eye use it on this uh, post-inflammatory erythema which is the red mark especially the red mark after uh, you got uh, your acne healed so it left a red mark especially happening those mark in the more pale uh, skin compared to uh, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation which happens in the uh, more uh, melanated skin now i will show you the picture you can see here from day were zero before applying the product and next uh, i don't have a problem like a big problem of puffiness under eye or dark circle i have some congestion sometimes redness to purple color after 10 days we can see um, some kind of improvement i don't know to be honest i will not uh, say my judgment I will let you all be the judges to see if it's like really working and after 20 days and after 30 days you can see here also the picture I can see I see some kind of tightening effect and reducing of puffiness and but the dark color or red or purple depending on the person is not really or heavily reduced so looking at those uh, uh, results after uh, using it for a month will i uh, repurchase it uh, it's not on my top priority of products but if I, if i have extra money for example of course i would like spend it on this product it gives some kind of uh, tightening effect after application it uh, also i have to say uh, 
have some kind of sticky residue after application you have to put a very small amount because like i said it goes a lot it goes uh, uh, by very well like it will slide over your whole face with a few drops so uh, use a very little amount after it dry it leaves some tacky feeling sticky feeling for a five to six minutes and it will be over after this so after looking at the real life performance i will give it also a four out of five happy most faces because as i told you it not it did not give like stunning result but i i give it four out of five which is almost perfect because i found it very helpful in reducing the post-inflammatory erythema marks on my temples so if you suffering from dark eyes and have some post-inflammatory erythema give it a try maybe it can work for you better than it worked for mine but uh, it's something that like i said it's not in my top five product that i need to repurchase it's something that if i found it if i'm like okay i need to spend a little more on skincare i could grab it for sure okay guys this was my video i hope you guys enjoyed it and liked it sorry for the long wait but i had to use it for one month to give it a very decent uh, evaluation as a product from the scientific and in real life performance and please don't forget to subscribe like and share if you have any question related to skincare leave it in the comment i would love to have a discussion with you i have a discussion i'm learning from you a lot from the eastern uh, viewers of the part of the globe they are telling me about a new product that i've never heard of so i have to research it and learn about it and of course please uh, keep your question coming because i love answering your question and learning from them and please don't forget to stay safe wear your mask and get vaccinated so you can do your part for uh, saving lives of course and i wish you to be all safe and sound and i see you in the next video bye